Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between homogeneous and heterogeneous welding. Welding is one of the manufacturing processes by which two or more similar or dissimilar materials can be joined permanently by coalescence formation with or without the application of external pressure, heat or filler material. Welding processes can be categorized into three groups, namely autogenous welding, homogeneous welding and heterogeneous welding. Both homogeneous welding and heterogeneous welding need filler material to be applied during process. When filler is not applied, it is called an autogenous welding. So, let's look into the basic differences between homogeneous and heterogeneous welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In homogeneous welding, chemical composition of filler material is identical with that of the parent materials, whereas, in heterogeneous welding, chemical composition of filler material is substantially different from that of the parent materials. Number 2. Homogeneous welding is not possible while joining dissimilar materials, whereas, dissimilar metal joining is inherently a heterogeneous welding process. Number 3. In homogeneous welding, because of same chemical composition between filler and parent metals, compatibilities in terms of chemical, physical and metallurgical are inherent and obvious, whereas, in heterogeneous welding, the filler metal should be chosen considering the compatibility issues to obtain a defect-free joint. Number 4. In homogeneous welding, melting point of filler is same with that of the base plates, whereas, in heterogeneous welding, melting points of filler and base plates can be substantially different and this factor should be carefully considered prior to welding. Number 5. In homogeneous welding, physical Chemical and mechanical properties of weld bead are roughly same with that of base metals, whereas, in heterogeneous welding, properties of weld bead can be improved to desired level by suitably selecting a compatible filler. Number 6. Joints might be susceptible to corrosion. Corrosion resistance of the joint cannot be improved by homogeneous welding, whereas, corrosion resistance of the joint can be enhanced by heterogeneous welding by employing a corrosion resistive filler. This is advantageous for marine applications. Number 7. Dilution effect such as changes in composition in filler metal due to its mixing with the base metal on weld bead does not exist in homogeneous welding, whereas, during heterogeneous welding, dilution effect needs to be carefully controlled, otherwise it can lead to inhomogeneity on weld bead. Number 8. Rate of expansion or contraction is approximately same for molten filler and base metals in homogeneous welding. So chance of crack formation on the weld bead is also less, whereas, in heterogeneous welding, unequal rate of contraction between molten filler and base metals during solidification can lead to residual stress generation and crack formation on the weld bead. And, number 9, certain welding processes are suitable for homogeneous welding. For example, shielded metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, submerged arc welding etc. Similarly, certain welding processes are suitable for heterogeneous welding, for example, plasma arc welding, friction stir welding, laser beam welding, thermite welding etc.